Hi, this is a tour of your project for the Educational Theorist Activity in Education 111. The purpose of this project is to give you the ability to know about historical figures that aided in the development of early childhood education and also to identify some contemporary leaders and trends. Now, for this project, you're going to need to select a theorist from the list right here. And all I, I need you to really um, do two things for me. First of all, I'd like you to pick someone you don't know a lot about because that's how you're going to learn something new. And second of all, I'm not allowing duplicates for this project. So what you're going to do is pick one or two theorists that you're interested in, get them in your head, and then we're going to go over to our Facebook page. And I have already posted this, even though we're not quite in week two yet, um, because we'll, by the time you watch this video, we will be in week two. But I have a posting that says, for week two, you will choose a theorist, and you need to post your theorist right here in the comment section. So all you need to do is write the name of your theorist there. We know who you are because your profile picture is right there. So post the name of your theorist, and I do have under the See More button all the theorists listed there. And before you post your theorist, you need to read anyone who has posted previously to this link and make sure that you're not adding a duplicate. If I get on to Facebook and I see a duplicate, I'm going to ask you to change, and that would be a really big pain if you've already started your project. So make sure that from the list, you pick one or two in your mind, you get to Facebook, you check out who has already posted or taken those theorists, and then you post one that's not there. So that's the procedure for selecting your theorist. Now, once you've selected your theorist, you're going to do a little research. Now, our textbook has research on every person on this list but it's to varying degrees. There are some of our theorists that have a lot of information in the text, and there's other theorists that you're going to have to go online or using um, some sort of text resource and find information. What we're looking for are two main areas, the biographical information and what were their important contributions to education. So if you're doing some research online, just find out what are their what is their basic biographical information and what is their important contribution to education. Then, to share what you've learned, you're going to do two things. The first thing you're going to do is make a word cloud. And a word cloud is something that students are doing in classrooms as early as first grade. And there's three great online programs. One is called Taggle, one is called Tagzito, and one is called Wordle. And what I've done in in D2L, both in the project section and under the project in week two, I have a video for each one of these websites. So you can go there and if you've never used Taggle or Tagzito or Wordle, there's a quick little two to three minute video of how to make one. Then after you've made your word cloud, you're going to, you're basically your word cloud is going to share the biographical information and the important contributions to education. So I do have an example here. This is not one of the people on the list, but this is Lev Vygotsky, and um, I've included his biographical information and his um, contributions to education, and I've done it on a picture of him. This is what his kind of silhouette looks like. These are really neat. Uh, I've done them in the past with students a lot, and it's a very visual way to represent something. There's lots of options, and depending on which program you choose, there's more simple and there's more advanced. You can choose what best meets your needs. Uh, I would love if we could post these word clouds. Um, there, You can save them as a JPEG and then you can post it on Facebook. But I'll make another, um, we won't put those where we're signing up. We'll put those in a new posting area and I'll have that there in a little bit. But what you need to do after you have your word cloud is write a paragraph sharing how this theorist can shape your future classroom. Why is their work to education important? And how would that be interpreted in your future classroom? So three jobs. Choose your theorist. Make sure you have no duplicates. Create a word cloud of their biographical information and important contributions. And then write a paragraph sharing how this theorist can shape your future classroom.
I know you're interested in how this is going to be scored. It's worth 25 points, and what you're going to do is make sure that if you'd like that 25 points, you're looking in the advanced column on our rubric. Basically, as long as you're sharing their biographical information in your word cloud and their contributions in the word cloud, then you're going to get five points in each of those categories. Uh, the fact that you've created the word, word cloud and it connects to your theorist is also a category. The reflective paragraph explaining how the theorist impact would aid your classroom development and connecting to you as an educator is worth five points. And then I'm going to look at the conventions of both your reflective paragraph and your word cloud and see that they are proofread for spelling, grammar, and punctuation. So that's how you score the 25. Okay, and if you have any questions, you can post it on our discussion board under the project area. You can post it on Facebook or you can send me a message directly. Have fun with this. This is a great way to learn about our theorist, but also try out some new technology software out there.